the old tractor spotter has found, I think it's an eight. It's not an M. International Harvester made about 250,000 M's. And a lot of them are still uh, working on small farms in Canada and the United States. And I have a feeling this is an H. I don't want to get too close because I heard some dog barking. But uh, in any event, uh, it's nice to see that they take an old tractor like this and rather than scrapping it, they turn it into yard art. And with the Canadian flag, uh, it uh, and the color red just kind of makes sense. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's nice to see that uh, they don't, they haven't destroyed this old tractor. People uh, driving along by road here in South Abbotsford, and maybe five minutes from the U.S. border, uh, get a chance to look at these old tractors. And uh, for some, it brings back wonderful memories on the farm, as it does for me. We had a we had an M. We didn't have an H. The M was a little stronger tractor. It could pull a three-bottom plow easily. And uh, I have no idea where our M ended up. Someone told me it was uh, it went to Grand Bend, Ontario, to a small farm there. But um, anyhow, the old tractor spotter saw this, thought I'd share it with you and show you rather than recycling and destroying and melting down some of the old iron that uh, it can be repurposed into some beautiful yard art. As long as you've got the room, that's the main thing. It's a sunny day. It's uh, July 3rd, uh, 2023. It's the last day of our Canada Day celebrations. And uh, I've decided to take a little drive out into the countryside and see what's going on and watching the crops grow and farmers taking care of their animals, their livestock and the farms and stuff. So it's a beautiful day. I trust you had a wonderful Canada Day weekend. And the old car and the old tractor spotter will continue to look for old iron to share with you. It's Monday in the Fraser Valley. Monday, July the 3rd, 2023. It's the Canada Day long weekend. It's the last day for a lot of people. And uh, then everybody heads back to work. So I decided to take a little drive out into the countryside, out into the Fraser Valley, and check to see how the crops are doing. So the one right ahead of me there, that is corn. But um, I'm almost, this is looking straight east. And I'm surrounded by mountains. And I'm guessing that's probably four or 500 feet tall. But um, all around, this whole beautiful part of the Fraser Valley are extremely, uh, rich lands that produce a lot of crops. Well, okay, so that's straight south. Just over those mountains is the United States of America who will be celebrating their 4th of July tomorrow. Uh, probably a lot of people are doing that right now. But uh, anyhow, so that was corn on uh, the east side. And now we're kind of looking toward the west. You know, I thought I knew my crops. I have a feeling those are potatoes. They look like potatoes with the little, I know it might be hard to see, the white uh, plant. Let me get a little closer there. Yeah, there's little white plants on there. Something tells me those are potatoes. Right over there, the building up there toward the west, that's Abbotsford, the east side of Abbotsford. Um, 25 years ago, there was nothing on, on that little mountain over there. And they've done a lot of clearing and there must be Gosh, I don't know, five, ten thousand homes up on that mountain now. But uh, what a beautiful part of the lower mainland of British Columbia, the Fraser Valley. And you can see there's mountains to the north, farms. And if you remember a few years ago, this area that I'm standing in was the area that was flooded. This used to be a lake and it was drained, I think in the 40s, 1940s, it was drained. This entire lake was drained and it turned into some of the richest agricultural land in Canada. Um, it is amazing uh, what you can produce on this land. In fact, if you plant a shovel in the ground upside down, it'll sprout. Yeah, I might be stretching it. But, uh, so, a little bit of irrigation going on, and I trust you all had a wonderful Canada Day uh, weekend celebrating this beautiful country of ours, and uh, wish you all the best in whatever you're doing this summer, whether it's traveling or visiting, uh, safe travels to everyone, and uh, enjoy the rest of your week. From the Fraser Valley in British Columbia, 
Uh, wishing you all the best. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd give you a little glimpse of what I see today. Dairy farms off in the distance, uh, all kinds of agriculture, and it's just an absolutely gorgeous spot. Take care, everyone.